So I started with a party. It's the only thing I knew how to do. I was a nightclub promoter. So I got someone to donate a club. I threw my 31st birthday party. I got 700 people to come out. I lured them with open bar. And I charged them 20 bucks at the door. And this time, instead of pocketing the $15,000, we took it immediately to a refugee camp in northern Uganda. We built three wells, we fixed three wells, and then we sent the photos and the GPS and the story back to those 700 people. 700 people proved that we could make a difference, even $20 at a time. This was the beginning of Charity Water. Charity Water is an organization founded by Scott Harrison, a former nightclub promoter turned philanthropist who seeks to bring clean and safe drinking water to every person on the planet. Harrison is doing this with the help of social media. Through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and more, Charity Water starts fundraisers in which supporters can donate money by debit card or PayPal. Donors can track where their money has gone, and through video of the place it went, how their money has literally been put to use. They can also watch online the life stories of the people they are helping. Dirty Water is responsible for more death in the world than all forms of violence, including war. Even if it were a million people, this would be a crisis. But it's not one million. It's 663 million people that live on our planet right now without access to clean water. That's twice the population of the United States. Nearly one in 10 people worldwide. Behind those statistics were real lives, people who were dying because they couldn't get clean water. And many of them were children. <laughs> Charity Water gained significant recognition through the story of Rachel Beckwith, a determined young girl who shared Scott Harrison's vision of a world with clean water to drink for all. She heard me speak a few months before her ninth birthday and told her mom that instead of presents or a party, she wanted to raise $300 to help kids get clean water to drink instead. She was disappointed when she didn't reach her goal, but she raised $220, and her mom assured her it was good enough. She could try again next year. She never got that chance. Five weeks after her birthday, Rachel Beckwith was in a multi-car pileup on a highway east of Seattle. I approached the mother, and she was hysterical, obviously, because her two kids were in the back. One of those children survived, but Rachel died after being taken off life support just days later. Article 25 of the UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that everyone has a right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of himself and of his family. Rachel Beckwith wanted to do good for her fellow people. For her birthday, she wanted to give other people the gift of clean water. By the end of 2011, Rachel's campaign had led to 143 fresh water wells being installed in villages in Ethiopia. She's now been joined by over one million people helping us fund over 20,000 water projects that will bring clean water to 6.3 million people. Rachel's death inspired hundreds of thousands of people to act. Charity Water continues to share the stories of those struggling to get clean water and has funded over 9,000 water projects in 20 countries. And it was made possible with Scott Harrison's method of digital donations. Rachel was a really special girl. She has the ability to uh, reach from the grave and, and still impact our lives on a daily basis. Fortunately, thanks to the tools available to us in the digital age, you too can get involved in furthering the fight for human rights worldwide. Click below to find out more about how you can get involved in Human Liberty 2.0.